Hello all, it's James Johnson, aka Sulphur Blade, and I am here with a new game to the channel. This is called Coral Island, and no, it has nothing to do with uh, the Battle of Coral Sea. Um, this is a completely different genre of game from War in the Sea. <clears throat> this is a life simulator uh, slash farming simulator game similar to Stardew Valley or Harvest Moon. This game in its current state is in early access. And from what I'm aware, it does suffer a bit, as a lot of games these days do, from uh, the whole woke narrative. But knowing that, I figured I'd give it a try anyway, because, well, I enjoy these types of games. So let's jump in, see how things go. Do I have to click on new game? Evidently so. Alright. Um, well, right now I'm looking a bit Asian for my taste. Body mass, huh? Oh. Oh, something like that's fine. <clears throat> There's no butt slider, evidently. I've got the flat assassin in existence. Anyway, now if I can do something about these eyes, the first thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that I look very, very Asian. And it doesn't seem like there's any way to change the fact that I look very, very Asian. Every single eye is slanted upwards. All right, that's that's a big problem. Um, come on, developers, don't force us into looking like something we don't want to look like. I have nothing against Asian people. I was stationed in Japan for a long time, but I myself, I don't look like this, and I don't want to look like this. <clears throat> I... Does wider eyes make it look less? No. No. It's like every single eye style. All four of them look the exact freaking same. They're all bad. You don't even have any normal hair to choose.
name, huh? Seriously, the eyes, devs, the eyes. I I understand that you may be um, Indonesian developers and that Coral Island is based in Asian uh, imaginary land. But I've watched gameplay of this. I've seen that your NPC characters, that you have... Um, American looking NPC characters that you have normal looking NPC characters why is it that me the main character is forced to look Asian I don't mind if there's Asian characters in the game I don't mind if the majority of the characters in the game are Asian but I myself should be able to look the way I want to look it's all I'm asking <clears throat> I mean, this is a more, I don't know, visually appearing, appealing version of Stardew Valley. And Stardew Valley is, is very small pixels, right? But when I can make a avatar of myself in Stardew Valley with the little tiny pictures that more represent me, that I'm more happy with being and playing as, than a game that has actual graphics, something's wrong, guys. <clears throat> something's wrong. Anyway, that's my first complaint about the game so far. How many more complaints will I have? I know there's a rainbow flag in the game. Not a fan of that. So I'm just going to get that complaint out of the way right now. By and far from the gameplay I've seen, um, things look pretty good. Um, very nice looking houses, buildings, huge mansions. Uh, the world building is, in my opinion, pretty top notch from what I've seen. You leave Pokyo to start a new life on Coral Island. Okay, I'm hitting the wrong mouse key. Uh, I don't know. I'm left mouse is usually what I hit for changing screens, not right mouse, guys. And here I am riding into town on a chicken. Um, I think it's silly. Why couldn't we just ride into town on a normal frickin' boat? Why do we have to have a boat with a giant chicken head in the front of it? It's not even comical, it's just stupid looking and silly. <clears throat> Hello, James Johnson. Welcome back to Coral Island, your new home. And I'm pressing the wrong mouse key. It's been a long time since. It's been a long time, James Johnson. Good to see you again. I can't remember the last time we had a visitor. I trust you had a wonderful journey with Mr. Wataru. Um, yeah, those are fine. Great, I expect nothing less from Mr. Wataru. He's the best sailor you could ask for. You must be quite tired from your journey. Let's head over to your new place.
All right, the floors are done. Oh my, what a coincidence. We've just finished patching things up. Is this the new farmer? That's right, James Johnson. This is Dinda and Joko. They're the local carpenters. <coughs> nice to meet you, James Johnson. Hello, James Johnson. It's always exciting to welcome someone new to our little island. Indeed, James Johnson, this will be your new house. It's a bit run down, but... Ahem, excuse me, Mayor Connor? Did you just say we did a poor job here? Uh, no, I mean... Don't worry, I'm just joking. Unfortunately, we could only patch up the roof so it doesn't leak and replace some of the rotten wood. If you want more renovations, you can visit our shop and house in Hillside, northeast of here. We won't charge you for it, but you'll need to gather the materials yourself. Once we restore the foundation, you can decorate the house the way you like. We've placed the complete instructions in your mailbox. Well then, it's about time we head home. See you both around. Take care, James Johnson, and good luck. As you can see, people are very excited that you're here. Doubly so for Sam. You should pay him a visit once you're more settled in. He's the owner of the general store in town. And that is the field where I'm guessing you'll spend most of your time. Hmm. Okay, so we have a decent amount of space. It's a bit messy now, but I'm sure you'll take care of it in no time. Once you've harvested your crops, you can put them or anything else you have to sell here in the shipping bin. I'll ship the contents overnight to the appropriate stores in town, and you'll receive the funds the following day. I'll be going now, so you can get some rest. Oh, since you just got here, you probably haven't bought anything you need for farming yet. Here's a little something from the town to get you started. You received a watering can, an axe, a scythe, and some random seeds. If you need anything else, I'm at your disposal. Uh, do you have any sunglasses so that I can block my slanty eyes? <laughs> Come to me with problems, questions, and some mean sake. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome home, James Johnson. All right, plant seeds, etc. We've got mail, evidently. I'm pressing the wrong button. Uh, to repair your house, we'll need you to gather some materials. Please collect 50 wood and 20 stone. After you collect everything, head to the carpenter's store and create an order at the counter. Your house will be repaired on the same day. All right. Um, how do I pick up that? There we go. <coughs> Uh, 
clean up the area a bit so that we can plant these seeds. Takes enough swings to top down a tree, huh? Can't break that. Evidently, I can't. Hmm. Crafting. Makeshift chest. Wooden trash. And I can't pick up the trash because. This is the hoe. trash <clears throat> well, I haven't gathered enough stone yet have I? Stuff laying on the ground. Um, 
Um, let's try to build a chest again. Poor trash. Alright, the inventory on this is brutal. Um, is there a way I can drop something on the ground without throwing it away? Alright, well, I guess we're shipping Bennett. I don't want to keep those cones. Can't put it on the porch. Need the watering can right now. Um, don't need the hoe right now. Grr. Hey, you can go here. Sap can go here. Fiber. Trash for now. Okay, great, we got a geode. <clears throat> I'll put the wild seeds away for now. All right, let's go find Wherever we need to go to carpenter shop, harvest that on the way. So I haven't actually played before, but I've watched others play. So I have a kind of an idea where the carpenter shop's at. Right here. Okay, yeah, repair your house. Consume, no, I don't want to consume the tulip. Yes, confirm. Awesome, thank you. I'll work on it right away. Joko, honey, a slight change of plans. James Johnson here with, he is here with the building materials. Let's over to the farm and repair James Johnson's cabin. And we're looking at who? Oh, here he is. <clears throat> wow, that's awesome, James Johnson. 
And uh, how did you go from being outside sawing on some lumber and magically appearing inside? Neat trick. Let's do it. Dinda and Joko are repairing your house. How are the house upgrades? More comfortable, right? Now move it and help me get your stuff inside, kiddo. Alright, looks a bit better. Yeah, okay. Because three adults would sit on a floor like that. Whew, that old thing was really heavy. <coughs> We're finished. What do you think, James Johnson? Um, no more holes, thanks. I hope you can sleep better now. Look, no more moldy wood. We replaced all of it. We also built a new foundation for the house. That means it's strong enough for more furniture. You can start decorating to make things comfier. Speaking of decoration, we have a furniture store in town. But since there are fewer tourists, we don't stock many options anymore. No one's buying, you know? Check it out, though. You might see something you like. If you want, we could go there right all right, that's enough. You'll scare the kid. Oh, sorry, James Johnson. I got too excited there. We love that store. Even got some of our cousins helping out there. It's a family business for us. Feel free to visit when you have time, James Johnson. It's in the middle of town. Shouldn't be hard to find. All right, that's all for... Honey, aren't you forgetting something? Oh yeah, the TV. We threw in a free TV for you, James Johnson, free of charge. It's old and bulky, but it still works perfectly. It gets a good amount of channels, too, like this weather. Well, sometimes you gotta smack it good at a 60 degree angle like this. <clears throat> the channels are very useful. I like the weather report on the weather channel, so you can skip watering the crops on rainy days to go fishing or something. I don't know what you like to do, but you get the idea. There are a variety of shows, too. Look, uh, some shows have useful tips if you pay close attention. I guess that's all for now. See you around, James Johnson. See you, James. Don't forget about the furniture store, all right? Your house just got bigger. Yay. Okay. Now, how can I rearrange it? P? All right, um, rotate. Up there, that one. Can't really center it on the window. No. All right, what is this anyway? look right, doesn't. 
Uh, we'll go like that. That's fine. <clears throat> All right, so we did that, that. What else do we have to do? Harvest your first crop, visit Sam's general store, open journal to claim a reward. How do we open the journal here? We planted the seeds, we watered the seeds. Oh, these are done. Visit Sam's General Star. Harvest your first. Well, we can't harvest the crop yet. Hey James, I knew you would eventually make your way here. I wanted to personally introduce you to the owner of this store. This is Sam. He's been running this establishment for a while now. Hello James, it's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the general store. You'll find most of your farming needs here. Most of the seeds I sell are seasonal though. It would do you good to keep this in mind. If you need help, just holler. I'll be by the cash register. Well, isn't this nice, Sam? You might finally put a dent in that seed stock of yours. Anyway, before you get going, James, your moving in was quite unexpected. I'm sure a lot of people are anxious. Well, we're like curious to see who the new farmer is. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to folks in town? Do I have to? Uh, fine. Hey, random person. Oh, you look like a winner. Oh, a new face. Feeling really good vibes from you, mate. No, no, you probably shouldn't be feeling good vibes from me, mate. <coughs> Hello, Farmer James Johnson. It's great to see you're here. Looking for the most profitable seeds. I suggest you plant what you want and the rest will follow. That's the best price I can give you. Take it or leave it. You didn't give me a price. Okay, well, how do I buy seeds then? Here we are. Hold. Okay, tulip was worth money. Good. Um, Got a little bit of all of them, just in case there's some sort of <clears throat> mechanic like you need to, like in Stardew, where you need to, you know, deliver the goods to the the town center or whatever in order to get your bundles completed. I don't know if that mechanic exists in this game. I haven't seen it in anyone's playing that I've watched. But this game does uh, heavily copy Stardew, so it wouldn't surprise me if it's if it's here somewhere. 
All right, I'm gonna need the hoe now. Whatever. All right. We have all the seeds that we can plant on today planted. Let's dump some of this stuff here so we have room to pick stuff up. Try to meet people while we still have daylight left. There's some random person. Hello, I don't think I've seen you before. Are you new in town? Ah, oh, nice to meet you. My name's Everest. Ava for short. blocked. Hello to you too, I'm Macy. <coughs> Where are you from? It's nice to finally have a tourist in town. Not a tourist, ma'am. Didn't I already talk to you? We don't see many new faces, so your arrival is great for the town. You're the new arrival, huh? So you're the lifeguard? Don't bother me, I won't bother you. Alright, nice to meet you too. Yes, may I help you? My name's Luke, pleasure. My name's Luke, pleasure is mine. As well go in. There's probably people in here. Shop. Yeah, don't want to shop. Just want to talk. Hello, random person. The new farmer. Welcome, welcome. Hey, cook. 
You're the new farmer? I see. No offense, but you look like you've never held a tool in your life. Yeah, you don't look like much of a cook, buddy. <coughs> Anyone up here? Doesn't look like it. Diving, huh? Oh, I can't seem to go out there. Hey, random person, you want to talk? No? Okay. <coughs> so, this. Fireplace. I can make it swing, but I can't sit in it. Okay. looking tree. Oh, this looks like a mess. Farm. Oh, this is my farm. <coughs> yeah, I'll have to clean that up. Have I been in here? I don't think I have. Alice, you're cute. Is that is that you, James? Have we met? Wow, I almost didn't recognize you in that getup. Excuse me? Oh, so you're the one moving into the lot, huh? That would explain the outfit. Do I know you? Let me pass, please. Well, I'm sorry. <coughs> You shouldn't go in. You don't know whose room this is. Okay. Nobody works in this inn, evidently. Just Alice, and she buggered off. <clears throat> hey, weird person with green hair. Oh, James? As in James? As in James? Um, yeah? It's nice to finally meet you. Uh, you got a weird thing in your nose. You should take care of that.
Hello, random person. Valentina. Hello, Mr. James. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Valentina. All right. Go find your parents, little girl. <coughs> ah, hey. It's nice to see you again. We've seen each other before. Uh, no. No. Okay. Zara, a new farmer in town. <clears throat> you moved here after the oil spill? Huh? I'm Zara. See you around. Hey, Mutt. Taco. He seems happy. this an observatory it's a bit on the spacious side it's 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 got TARDIS technology it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside <clears throat> actually I've noticed that a lot with the places here in this game they they're uh, evidently dr. room and our doctor who inspired Is this a room over here too? Okay. So people live in the observatory, huh? <coughs> hey, strange person, there's a much bigger telescope in that building over there. James Johnson, did I say it right? I'm Baku. It's a pleasure to meet you. Dad told me about you. He was the one that brought you here on the chicken boat. So your dad is the strange person that owns a boat with a chicken on it? I'm sorry for you, dude. Yep, the one with the hat. There, don't mind us. We be out of your hair in no time. Hey, random person. Surya? Oh, you're James. I've heard about you from my uncle, Jokio, the carpenter. Tall? Mustache? No? heck is this? Is it supposed to look like that? It looks incomplete. Hello, random person eating food. Well, well, well. If it isn't the new owner of the lot. Or shall I say the farm. Well, well, well. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, you're the new farmer. I was worried there for a bit about a potential competitor. Nothing to worry about, it seems. Oh, you are those type of people. Okay. Anyone up here? We've got plenty. 
plenty of wine. Oh, I suppose this is a vineyard. Okay. I see what's going on. I've already been up here, haven't I? today. Weird little, little reptile thing. I should probably try to find home. Oh, let's go in this guy's house. It's closed. Oh. A wasabi. A shiitake. my house? It is. I gone this way before? I don't think I have. <clears throat> I'm still looking for some things to pick up while there's still some daylight. Shake? Shake, 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 shake the tree. Shake the tree. Can we shake every tree? Coconut gonna fall out of one of them one of these times? Or something? Hmm, nothing yet. Maybe not the right season? Have we talked? I think we have. Oh, 
Oh, there's that museum place. I wonder if any of this stuff I picked up can go into the museum. But it's closed. No, I don't want to eat a daffodil. Don't be silly. Time to head home. sleep. Foraging, level one, one skill point, plus three max energy, new craftables, candy tree seed. Oh, those are those seeds. The, the acorn and the uh, pine cone I threw away. got mail. New item alert. Introducing basic bag. It has a total of 20 compartments. That is a whole five extra compartments and basic tool belts. Carry more, do more, worry less. Available now at Sam's General Store for 500 coins. Okay, thanks Sam. Good to know. Um... Right, no space right now. I should be able to build another thing of a bobber. Makeshift chest. Insufficient material. What am I missing? Need more wood. <clears throat>
Hopefully that's enough wood, right? Next, I have watering to do.
because I'm getting tired. What's the journal say? Still need to meet seven more people and need to harvest a crop. Yeah. <clears throat> Have we met? We don't sell to individuals, only businesses with liquor permits. Well, that's great. Uh, how lovely to see a new face around here. You can call me Betty, dear. Uh, dog, do you realize you're playing in the fountain? Who's a good boy? Well, hello to yo. A chew. Ugh, spring. Not the best time to move here. A cat. Meow. Hello, butter. Cute kitty. Well, there might be people to talk to in this place. Oh, the new neighbor. So someone really was moving into town, huh? I couldn't believe it until I saw you myself. strange person. I make sure to bring lunch from home. I think we've already met Luke. Nothing back here. Can't get out there. Have we met just okay hello strange person doing yoga oh it's that annoying cook I want to have a relaxing day without bothering anybody, and vice versa. Area closed off for festival use only. Okay. So let me get this straight. The cook is over here doing... karate type exercise stretching exercises what are we gonna find out that Steven Seagal
there's people over here. Good day, stranger. Oh, you just moved to the farm? Welcome to the community. My name is Anne. And you're Paul. You're going to be a farmer, huh? What brings you out here, then? By the way, you can call me Paul. Well, that's good. Wouldn't want to call you a strange guy overdressed. Pretend to be like you're a woodsman or something. <clears throat> the way he was dressed is, is how city folk dress to go into the woods. Somebody live here? Okay. Hello, strange person. Whose room I can't enter. Hmm, bridge. I feel like I've been over here before. Though I think I'd remember the basketball. What am I supposed to do with it? There's no way to pick it up. Okay, that's pointless. School? Where's all the kids? It's a Tuesday in the middle of the afternoon. There should be kids here. There should be a teacher here. There should be somebody here. Hopefully they actually teach, you know, like reading, writing, and arithmetic instead of woke agendas. <clears throat> Are you hunting for mushrooms? Uh, no, Sonny, I'm not. Who's in the truck? Emma, you're cute. So the rumors were true after all. Welcome to town. We got a new scientist in town last month, too. Can't remember his name, though. Anyway... I hope you like it here. Townies gifted zero of five. Oh, I suppose the game wants me to give gifts to townies, huh? What sort of flowers should I plant around the inn this year? I'll have to check my plant notebook for ideas. I wonder if she realizes that her hair is two different colors. Looks kind of silly. Hey, weird person. In the future, I want to publish more academic articles, or even books about my findings. tree. You don't understand what it says. Of course I do. I've read ancient Cyrillic for years. <coughs> Wait, what's going on here? Starlet Town. There's a dog. Woof woof. His name is Bon Bon. Poor mutt. Wait, 
have I been down there? Can't seem to talk to you. Yeah. Can't talk to you either. Fish and sips. Oh, you're the weird person with the horrible nose ring and all kinds of piercings in your ears. Looks who's finally here. The new farmer, right? I'm Frank. Right? Good to meet you, Frank. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Anything I can get you? It's nice to get out of the boat every now and then. It's certainly steadier. Um... Oh, hey, I have to say you're not what I expected. Well, what were you expecting? Oh, no, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I heard from the twins who run the inn that a former farmer moved in. Or that a new farmer moved in. I just thought, you know. Never mind. Um, okay, whatever, dude. You're a little strange. Just, it's just waiting for someone to step up and start singing. At a piano? Wouldn't you sing at a microphone? Wouldn't this be something you'd sing at? Test, test. One, two, three. Anything going on up here? Uh, can I enter this room? A cat. Peanut. Cute kitty. Meow. I like cats. I'm a cat person. I have cats myself. I'm the crazy cat guy. Uh, garbage can. Fiber from the garbage can. What is this? Hmm, pretty fancy looking place. That looks like a bedroom. That looks like a bedroom. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. that poor mutt called Bon Bon, right? Yep. Hey, some things to pick up. A cherry. Where did the cherry come from? Shake any of these strings.
Oh, there's some sort of container that opened up. Oh, this is that place for festivals or whatever that I can't go to yet. What about you flamingos? Do you talk? No? My name is Randy. I'm an elementary school teacher. What did you say your name was? None of your beeswax. Who's this person? Candy tree seed as a gift? Let the mayor? Why not? I'm supposed to give some gifts away anyway. You're the person that doesn't like me. Here, have a candy tree seed. I can shake the fir trees. I can even shake these. this place it's closed that's what it is <clears throat> this looks familiar like a 
mirror the house. Let's go get some rest. Oh wait, that reminds me. Uh, looking for a way to pass time? Or maybe you want to earn extra coins while waiting for your crops to grow? When you have time, please visit us, visit us at the Beach Shack. We have the perfect welcome gifts for you. Okay. But that's not what I was thinking of. Making friends. Visit Beach Shack. Okay. Harvest a crop. This here, there's skills, right? I have skill points too. <clears throat> speed demon increase sprinting speed yeah whatever double foraging chance to forage double items maybe exceptional cutter chance for regular trees to drop hardwood double foraging actually was that the only Skill thing. Yeah, it seems so. Actually, I want to use some of this energy. Um,
that's enough energy used today. Wild seeds. All right, let's go visit those people at the beach shack, see what they wanted. I think the beach is this way. spot to visit for harvestables. What? Sonny, we can't do that to the new farmer. Poor thing will get overwhelmed if we give both things at once. Okay then, we start with fishing. Who doesn't like fishing? Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to... Welcome! A new face at last! James, isn't it? Jim! James is here! Nice to meet you! Hmm. Nice to finally meet you, James. Come to have a seat. We were just discussing your welcoming gift. It's fine if you prefer to stand. Gotta keep those leg muscles strong, eh? Speaking of leg muscles, I have the perfect workout for you. Catching bugs. Sit, sit, James. Evidently I have to consider sitting. So, how's farming life so far? Uh, nothing I can't handle. He he, that's the spirit. Resilient youngster. Reminds me a lot of myself. Settle a debate for us, James. Which is better activity? Fishing or fun and ever exciting bug catching? He he, my wife, the competitive ladybug. Size. Um... Well, obviously fishing is more relaxing. Aha! I knew it. Did you hear that, love? James, you're right. Fishing is indeed a better activity. Well, in any case, here's our welcome gift for you. A fishing rod and a bug net. Woohoo! You can sell your catch or donate it to the museum. Looks like they're going to need it. Good luck. And since you gave me a gift, here, have a candy tree seed. You sure? Thanks. Um, Sam, have a candy tree seed. Everybody loves candied tree seeds. Uh, angry cook. Here. Have a candy tree seed. Alright, I've made friends. Now... I 
I suppose we can try to figure out how to Okay. out here. Let's try fishing. Wait for a fish to hook the line. Okay, what was that about? Maybe I pressed the wrong button. Do I have to click on the bobber? Ah, I see. Did I catch it? I caught trash. Is this costing energy? Caught more trash. Uh, a little bit. One energy per cast, it looks like. Caught a ruby red dragon net fish, a small feisty fish, 3.9 centimeters in length. Centimeters, huh? <clears throat> Is that a setting? Can can we change to imperial minish measurements? Is that a thing? with metric. garbage can. A daffodil in the garbage. Woohoo! that museum place open yet? Looks like it is. drag out this animation this long? 
Nope, they haven't magically returned. Oh, hello there, James, right? I'm sorry you caught me at a bad time, but... Just look at this place. It's so empty. My life's work. What are you talking about? This, the empty museum. We used to have so many artifacts. Well, not that many, but at least we had some. Not gonna lie, when Millie told me the town was going to sell all of our collection, I was furious. It's not a feeling that I'm used to. The one thing I was good at made me useful, made me feel useful, is going to be taken away from me. I couldn't stand it. But deep down, I knew the town really needed extra funds to clean the oil spill. There wasn't much I could do about it. So you're having a pity party. So I went back to my folks to cool down and think about what I'm going to do next. That's when I realized I had two options. I'm going to continue the pity party, or I'm going to rebuild the museum collection now that the town isn't in immediate crisis. So just rebuild it. But let me guess, you need my help to do it. That's right, I'm going to rebuild the collection. <coughs> By the way, James, I've heard some things about you. Oh, you have, really? I've, I've been here three days. I've never met you before, and I hardly know anyone in this town, but you're hearing things about me? People tell me you're good at finding things. Interesting. I don't know where they got that information. Now, I'm not too bad at it myself, but I can certainly use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? Uh, maybe. Uh, will I get paid? Of course. We'll have a little something for you as compensation to make it worth your time. Well, as long as there's compensation. So what do you say, James? <clears throat> Want to help me fill the museum with treasures of the island? Not really, but if you pay me enough, I might. That's what I like to hear. <clears throat> I can donate a fish. What did I get paid for that? Not sure I noticed anything. Uh, journal. Reward, making friends. Claim reward. Hey, I got a little money. Starting out, still haven't harvested anything. Close Wednesdays. Because Wednesday is such a normal time to close. I know of no store in existence other than the store in Stardew Valley that closes on a Wednesday. So we have to copy Stardew Valley so closely that we're closing on a Wednesday? Come on, guys. <clears throat> At least pick Thursday or something. Jesus. <clears throat> Or a normal day. Who closes in the middle of the week? All right. Uh, put that away. Put that away. That. 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 Sort the chest. Now I've got a bug net and a fishing pole. Um, hmm. Yeah, I suppose I'll carry him. Can I fish over here? Is there anything in it?
crayfish. And I'm tired after catching the crayfish. Could eat some of that, but I'm not gonna. We're gonna give this thing to the museum. Uh, maybe I don't know. I think I'd rather sell it. brown trout because that's what you find in the here have a brown trout from the trash can and a crayfish Can't turn the camera to get a better look at this stuff. Oh well. You don't look familiar. Um, yes? Well, I've met Lily. Can I just, like, stand here or sit on my bed and rest? No, no, no multiplayer resting cheat. Hmm. Got a lot of time left in the day. What can I do that doesn't take energy? <clears throat> Not really anything. Alright, well, I guess we're going to go to sleep. And then we'll wrap up this episode. We'll call it episode one. After I go to bed in the middle of the afternoon. So, this has been my first look at Coral Sea, or Coral Island. Coral Island. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, which is a Stardew Valley Harvest Moon inspired type game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, uh, consider smashing that like button. Consider subscribing. And until the next time all, peace.